Well, y'all, it's official. Summer in February in North Carolina is over. It's gone. Bye-bye. It's 30-something. Mm. It's 30-something. It's raining. And we were kind of hoping it was going to stop, so we waited to feed. Nope, hasn't stopped. So we're just going to feed in it. And I'm wearing a toboggan, and I should probably be wearing like a hat. But my ears were cold, so this is what we're doing. We're just going to get wet. Joy, joy. Here we go. Here we go again. Yep. I'm gonna wait in here. <laughs> Gleaner's hanging. Hanging out. I'm ready for it to be warm and dry so we can play with that thing. For what it's worth, I'm going to get gas. And I've got almost a quarter tank, so somebody write that down. I usually wait till it's on the E or below. <sighs> for Monday morning, that's kind of winning for me, because everything else has been nuts. <laughs> so, and yes, I know my truck is dirty. It does not impede my ability to drive it though, so this is what we're doing. Well, the sun's out today. That's great. So is the mud. Uh, uh, they're calling for three to four more inches this week. So, that's awesome. We had a couple of scapees this morning. I think the fence is not working down there for some reason. So, I'm going to try to get these little boogers back in. A lot of times trying to hurt calves is like trying to hurt cats. This might work. Okay, so I got we got the calves in. I had to I had to put the phone up because there were calves trying to get out and anyway, it worked, yay. Now I'm in my truck. And so this weekend I spent some time at my dad's house. Me and my brother did. So, backstory, because that's what I have to do, is I have to, I have to say a lot of things before I can actually get to the point. So, two years ago, my dad said for Christmas, all he wanted was for me and my brother to come up there and clean out stuff from his attic that was ours, right? And maybe some old stuff of my mom's. My mom passed away. Uh, so... That was, that was going to be it. So then fast forward to Christmas of 2018, Meredith had not done that. I had a whole year to get that done for my father, who was amazing and who I love very much. And that's all he asked for. Didn't do it. So <laughs> we just did that this weekend and it went really well. It was actually kind of fun. Actually, it kind of was to go through old stuff. And we threw a lot of stuff away. I did bring home my prom dress and I tried it on and was able to get in it. That was amazing. Uh, I mean, I couldn't really breathe and you had to, it was really hard to zip, but I did get in it. So I'm counting that as a win. In other news though, I've got a couple boxes of stuff here. This is just stuff that stays in my truck that needs to go, but a couple boxes of stuff. That and that. That's not too bad, right? It's actually not natural light. It's a book. It's a case of those what are they called? Make and do kind of books. I don't remember what they're called. Like a children's encyclopedia thing. Anyway, I didn't want to get rid of them. And then there's this box. <laughs> and this is something I'm looking at thinking, I should have just thrown this stuff away. But these were like little handmade ornaments. 
I really don't know if my mom actually made them. I kind of think she didn't. I really don't think she did. She wasn't like a seamstress or anything. But I have a feeling somebody, somebody like a church or somebody made these. And so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to keep this little box and ornaments and maybe... Even though my kids aren't even little anymore. I'm like, maybe we could just have like a little kid tree. No, I don't know. Now I'm, and they spilled all over the place this morning and I don't know. So, you know, if that's the worst, I, oh, just kidding though. Uh, there's a box and there's a box. I forgot about that. That's frames. Uh, yeah, a few things. Yeah, I'll, yeah, because you never know if you're going to need some 1980 hair clips again. I don't know. This is what I do. It's hard to let things go. But I was not about... Oh, I can't get this open. I'm not about to get rid of this little stool. Oh, yeah. Used to have our name. Used to have my brother or my name on it, but that's gone. But anyway. So now I... Now I'm in purge mode, and I think this is going to be a good week to just kind of take this momentum and run with it. I need to clean my out my bedroom. I can't even get on the side of my bed because there's just stuff. I need to clean out my daughter's room and start cleaning out the attic that she wants to make her bedroom. But we don't have a basement. And this is like a room that's basically like an attic, but it could be her bedroom. So... It's just the kind of thing that when I open the door and I look at the room, I just immediately shut the door and leave the room because it's so overwhelming. What's that saying? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? I've got to just start taking little bites and get through this. So this is me trying to psych myself up and share with the rest of y'all. So maybe that'll give me some accountability if I say, okay, I'm doing this. Maybe I'll actually do it. All right, I've talked way too much about really nothing, but that's normal. So funny, y'all. I needed a picture of myself on the farm for something. Um, like showing me doing something. I do, I don't know. I, I was gonna stand by a gate, but I just decided to like stand on the side of the tractor. So I really wish somebody had been here to video my husband trying to use my camera to take my picture and his big hands kept hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> Whew, but that's done. It is what it is. Well, I really don't know how to feel about what I'm getting ready to do. I've cooked a lot of things. I've tried a lot of things. But tonight, I'm going to be cooking something I've never cooked before. About to plop this little bad boy <laughs> in a pot of water and boil it. Do you know what this is? It's not a chicken. It looks like a little baby chicken, I thought. It's not, though. It's a squirrel. It's a very big squirrel that my son is very excited to eat. Because he killed it and he skinned it and cleaned it. And his mother is going to do her best to give, uh, I don't even know the right words, to do the squirrel justice, okay? This is the only one we've got, so I'm also cooking some beef for the rest of us, but my son is going to eat a squirrel. We'll see. So, the goal is to just, um, boil the squirrel, okay? I'm going to boil it. He wants me to fry it, I guess, like I would rabbit. So, I might do that. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we have. We'll see what happens. He's resting. He's resting right now before he starts boiling. Mm-hmm. So the couple of times that I've killed, I've not killed rabbit, that I've cooked rabbit that my son has killed, I can never do it without thinking about the movie Fatal Attraction, right? Remember? The neighbor's rabbit in the pot. I can't help but kind of feel the same 
about these little legs sticking up just makes me think about that. And I just felt like I needed to share that with somebody. I boiled it too long, but whatever. It's boiled. And because it's like dry now, I'm going to dip it in um, buttermilk. And then because I just wanted it to be wet before I put it in the batter. And then I'm going to put it in chicken breader and then I'm going to fry it and we're going to see what we have. Okay, I just flipped. So far, so good. My white little chicken legs. Y'all, this thing looked big enough to be a cat. But it wasn't. I do know that for a fact. Okay, you want to see how squirrel is. The batter's good. The batter's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, House Autry Chicken Breader, because that's what I used. Does it taste like chicken? Wesley. Gosh. I think he likes it. <laughs> rabbit and chicken mix. Oh, and in between rabbit and chicken. No, okay. both rabbit and chicken taste good. All right. Mm. I think the gravy's pretty on time, too. I already yeah. tasted it. <laughs> Thank you for providing supper for your family. Well, I can kill a hundred more. You can kill a hundred more. Well, we do have a freezer full of beef, but that's fine. Now we're going to have to get another freezer. <laughs> another freezer just for squirrel? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Winner, winner, squirrel dinner. I'm eating. Y'all, I never thought that I would be, mm, let me look at the right place, at this place in my life. My son didn't eat all of his squirrel. So I've been sitting here picking it. Because it's really good. It's like fried chicken. And I just didn't want to see it go to waste. So I'm sitting here picking all the little pieces of squirrel. Because I'm not throwing them away and I'm not giving them to the dog. And this is where I am at 40 years old. This is what I'm doing with my life. Cooking and eating squirrel.